Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. First of all, I would like to thank you for all your feedback and forwarding these videos. It's very important. Today, I want to talk about this brutal assassination of a scientist in Iran, Mr. Fakhrizadeh. The fact of the matter is now everyone knows who committed this. The state of Israel is being identified and it is very obvious that it's responsible for this brutal act. They've been involved in this sort of activity over and over and over again. This is not the first time. Attacks like this have happened before. Ten years ago, Israel carried out a campaign which killed four other nuclear scientists. But the death of Mohsen Fakhrizadeh poses a dilemma for Iran's leadership. Retaliate or bide their time. Iran has no option but to uh, respond to this. Now comes the question of how and where to react. To answer that question, you know, what does Iran do now? The Iranians have any number of options. We've reduced our uh, troop deployments in Afghanistan. That's certainly a possible arena. So. What I hear on media all the time, everybody is concerned what Iran is going to do, how it's going to respond. Well, Iran has got the right of responding and they will decide how to respond. Our interest and our priority should not be that. Our priority should be why the rest of the international community are so incompetent to hold Israel accountable and why we are legitimizing this sort of action and allowing Israel to get away with it. And by that definition, everybody else will pick up this as a tool of interrelationship between different countries. This is totally unacceptable. International community and the United Nations are responsible. If they will allow State of Israel to get away with this one more time, then this method of dealing with international affairs will become norm. And that will be the law of jungle and we should speak out against it.